Okay, so this is for the uh, take a look glasses and visor mirror. And this is, I haven't seen many people actually do a review of this. So I figure for those of you that have to have your first look be off of Amazon when you get it home from ordering it from there, that I'd show what it looks like and how it looks. So essentially when you get this set up right, and depending on your glasses and your or your helmet style or where you put it on for your visor, you will have to figure out like exactly where you're going to need to put this in order to be able to see behind you. But for me, with this setup as is, I can see behind me in the same lane of traffic and to my left hand side while wearing this, which is a really, really nice thing, a feature of this. Um, the range of, like, change of angle you can control on this is in three directions. So you can turn it like this, you can spin it like this, and you can rotate it this way as well. And so with those three combination of directions, you can get a lot of variability and adjustability for exactly where you want this. Um, from my experience, just like different little tips, um, if, if you end up feeling confident you're going to take this on and off the sunglasses with the visor frequently, mark where exactly you're going to have it. Um, I've got a little notch spot on the rubber grippers of my sunglasses that help me know where I'm, where I'm putting it on, where I'm taking it off. I know this is where this little edge always goes. Um, let's see. So one, one thing just to note for when in use is that when, especially when you are changing from going uphill to going downhill or back and forth that way, that you'll change the angle of this to be able to actually see sort of correctly to being level behind you so that you can see traffic well. You know, move this a little bit closer so that you can sort of tell how it gives you a good look behind. I, I really like this because you can just tell what's going on behind you, especially on touring on long roads. And you can, hear, if you hear something, you can just see it coming behind you without having to keep glancing back behind you. Um, because this is attached to your head instead of to the bike, there's less chance of it vibrating differently than your eyes are. Like if, if your, your eyes and your head are vibrating, this is probably going to be doing about the same, like, same movement amount. And so, and it provides really a surprisingly clear picture of what's going on behind you as you're going along. Um, I'm used to wearing this now, and so I have a uh, hard time imagining not actually wearing this all the time anymore. And uh, I know they sort of have like a bit of a old man cyclist kind of nerd sheet to them, but once you're used to using them, you just don't want to not anymore. <laughs> and uh, what are you doing? Yeah, and so $15 on Amazon, definitely a very worthwhile purchase. And for safety, I would definitely recommend doing that.